Okay, here I'm making a short video about how to use Virtual Reality Toolkit to um, make a controller uh, character where you can walk around with your controls and but not go through walls and uh, if you stick your virtual head into a wall you'll be teleported a bit back. Um, I have uh, the scene open here but I'll just find it here um, to show where it is. And when you have installed the, the virtual reality toolkit into your project, um, there's an example here, example 17. And when you open it, uh, this is what you get. Uh, the, re the relevant part is the scripts, the VRTK scripts. All the SDK setups here are just the regular setups and uh, they should be the way they're supposed to be. Um, so no need to change them. Um, but if we try it out here, oops, I'll just hit play, and now I have my VR headset, so I can walk around, and uh, I have my controllers, and they can go into the walls, and I can walk around with the left stick and the right stick, and if I stick my head into the wall, I'll get pushed back, as you can see here. Um, And the same here. And sometimes if my head does get into the wall, my headset blacks out and I get pushed back again. Um, so this works the way we want it to. So now I'll look into how this works. Uh, so if we want to bring this to another scene, one way could be to just make a prefab out of it, um, like this. We can call it we are controller prefab or just we are controller and then i will add these two to it uh, these are the two um, relevant uh, elements for for the vr setup that we can add to any scene and then i'll just make prefab uh, like we usually do in unity It's a bit slow for some reason. And there we go. I already made another one, but it's uh, a bit more advanced than than the new one here because I've worked on it a bit longer. Um, but then we can open a new scene, like one of the other one of the other examples. We could take. Grabbing object with joints. And in this scene, there's already an SDK manager. But if we disable this and disable the scripts, and then we take and take the prefab and drag it into this new scene. And we have these again. And when I hit play, Well, it seems I'm not in the scene right now. Let's see where we placed this. I think I would delete these just to be sure. And then this one will pull up a bit.
that's better. So now I'm in a new scene, but I have the same controls as before. And if I walk over here, I can stick my head into the door and I will still be teleported back. Um, but what if we want to add these controls to another uh, VRTK controller? Yeah, maybe we have already set up something we want to use and we just want to add this type of control. Um, so we can open the scene again. Uh, it could be this one. And again, we just uh, drag in this prefab. Or another way, a uh, useful tip is we could find uh, this one. This is a scene I used before. And we can open it additive. This means that both scenes are now open at the same time. So here we have this scene and the other scene. Uh, if I disable this, now I have removed all the scenery from the touchpad walking example. Um, but we still have the objects for this example. Um, so now we have all these scripts. And th in this example, all they need for some reason is, uh, is the left and right controller because all it needs is the uh, interact touch, interact grab, and interact use scripts for uh, VRTK, and of course uh, VRTK controller elements, which practically all examples need. But if we take the other example here, um, it also has the play area, which is very important because it has the VRTK body physics script and uh, hide adjust teleport script and uh, some more scripts that are relevant for this. And another thing we can notice is that uh, if both controllers have a child called touch controller options. And this is used to set how uh, these controls work. Um, so what we'll do is we control, we copy these two to the, uh, to the controllers in the new, uh, in the new scene. So they have these options. And the area, we can also just copy to this um, here. So we have uh, the play area, and it gives uh, body physics, it gives height adjust teleport, uh, policy list, hit set collisions. This is where it detects whether we are colliding uh, with with walls and so on. Um, Headset collisions fades. It's what uh, makes the headset turn black if we get too far into a wall. Um, and the position rewind, which makes sure that we jump back in case we actually go into a wall with our headset. Um, and then there are these, which uh, adds the controls. Um, right now, it has a scene mismatch because we copied them because these two need to match the controller, so we'll just drag the controller in here. Uh, control script object. Oh yeah, we still need to add scripts. So this relevant script here is the touchpad control script. Um, so we'll go to, well, actually both controllers. So we select both. Add component. B R T K. Uh, touch touchpad control and uh, with this added we'll grab this mm, controller control settings let's see no we don't need to set anything there oh and um Another useful thing to have. This one, it sets uh, how we decide which direction to go. Uh, if it's set to headset, the, the direction we look with the headset decides which uh, direction we actually walk in. Um, if we take left controller, it will be the left controller which direction it's pointing that will de decide which direction we walk when we press the 
uh, controller or the touchpad field or um, the, uh, the stick and for now we'll just set it to headset uh, and then we can go over here and drag this to this because now it has the left controller touch control pad uh, and then we go here and drag this here and it will have the VATK touch control pad for the right controller um, oh and we actually need to do this twice because there are two control elements one for um, the x-axis and one for the y-axis uh, so we left one here and we'll drag this in as well there we go um, this should actually be all of it so now we can unload this scene and we won't save it so it so it doesn't get these changes and then we can try it out um, and now i'm in the scene and i can grab these objects and use them as as the scene is intended to show uh, but i can also take my head and stick it into the table and i'll get teleported uh, I'm gonna try it here as well, and it goes black, and I jump back, uh, and I can use these, which is a bit strange, but yeah, uh, and use, and we can use to it at the same time. Mm. There. Uh, yes. Uh, and as a last thing, um, yes, remember that this object, the play area object, has all these relevant um, scripts. And if you need to, if if you the uh, if the VR controller that you already are using in another project perhaps already has a play area, you need to make sure that these scripts are added to that play area unless it already have the scripts for all the scripts it's missing you need to to copy and put onto that or at least add uh, by using the add component and finding them and but i find it useful to just um, click the click this and uh, copy the component and then you go back to the other play area and then you can do it again and just uh, paste component as new um, and yes another thing is what if we want to change the controls maybe we want to use it to rotate um, so we can activate this and disable this one so now it's used for rotation instead and we need to remember that uh, these are not there anymore so we'll just copy the controllers in well, or the controller and now the right controller will be used for rotating instead and i'll do a small test and look at the right controller here now when i go right and go left i actually turn around instead uh, and this one still moves me around with if i turn my head i'll go around and i could change that as i showed earlier on the script so that it it does it according in um, relation to the controller rather than the headset um, and again yeah if i walk into it it'll teleport me so that should it be it uh, you can make a brief about of it if you want to use it in more than one scene um, um yes i hope you found this useful um and i'll probably make some more videos about virtual reality and uh how to do things like this uh, vrtk the uh the person who I, who developed vrtk didn't make a video about this yet so that's why i'm making this one also because i found it very useful to do this